Kerala Seaplane was a commercial seaplane service promoted by Kerala Tourism Infrastructure Limited in the Indian state of Kerala. It was launched on 2 June 2013 at Kolam with the inaugural flight being operated by Kairali Aviation. However, commercial operations could not start due to opposition from the local fishing community. The Kerala government was keen on restarting regular operations of the project in 2014. The service was to be the first such service in mainland India, and the second in India after Jal Hans, which operates seaplanes in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Work on the Kerala Seaplane Project began at the end of July, 2012 and has been praised for being one of the fastest projects to be completed in Kerala. Topic structure and working The role of the Kerala government was only that of a facilitator and regulator. Kerala tourism was to do the work of marketing and promotion. Facilities like water dromes and floating jetties have already been built by the Kerala government at Ashtamudi, Kumarakam, Vimbanad and Bikal. These are the four initial tourist spots being connected by the seaplane. These facilities will also be constructed at 21 other tourist spots including Paravur later. Houseboats have been deployed at the takeoff and landing places for seaplanes and are equipped with special lounges for tourists. The fares for the seaplane services were fixed by the operators, and the seaplane services were to be operated by five operators Bharat Aviation, Kairali Aviation, Maher, Pawan Hans, and Wings Aviation, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The rate for the flight had been announced as 6,000 rupees per hour, subject to change. Refueling and maintenance of the seaplanes were to be done at their respective base station airports and not at the waterdromes to prevent any harm to marine ecology. Topic: <inaudible> Inauguration. <inaudible> 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 The service was launched on 2 June 2013 by Chief Minister of Kerala Uman Chandi in the backwaters of the Ashtamudi Lake in Kolam district using a 5 plus 1 seater Cessna 206H amphibian aircraft. The inaugural flight took off on time, but landed back at Ashtamudi after flying for a short distance due to bad weather. It was to be officially launched for tourists in August 2013. Kerala's Minister for Tourism, A. P. Anil Kumar, had announced that four more companies would launch services from the Tiruvananthapuram, Kochi, Kori Code, and Mangalore airports to backwaters in Kolam, Alapuja, Ernakulam, and Kasargodi districts by the end of 2013. Topic. Reactions The inaugural launch received a mixed response with protests by two left-backed organizations of traditional fishermen who claimed that the seaplane service was a threat to their livelihood and marine ecology. Owing to protests, the seaplane was forced to change its landing location. But, Mr. Anil Kumar said, "...the fishing community in Kolam has given its approval to the tourism project. Now, we will speak to the community at Alapuja to convince them that it will not threaten their profession." 
The government, however, constituted a committee to study the impact of the seaplane operations on the livelihood of the local fishing community. The aircraft remained grounded at the Cochin International Airport at Nejumbasari since 3 June. The expert committee was unable to submit its final report even towards the end of the year. Kairali Aviation, unable to cope with the mounting losses and the uncertainty of restarting the service, returned the aircraft back to its lesser. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Domestic Destinations. Kerala Kochi International Airport Calicut International Airport Trivandrum International Airport Kolam Bikal Astamudi Ernakulam Kasargodi Alapuja Karnataka Mangalore International Airport Topic See also Jal Hans List of Airlines of India